Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to talk about enzymes that are used in DNA manipulation and specifically DNA polymerases. Enzymes that are used in recombinant DNA technology falls under four broad categories. Template dependent DNA polymerase, nucleases, end modification enzymes and ligases. And in today's video, we are going to specifically discuss about template dependent DNA polymerases. They are the enzymes that synthesize new polynucleotides that are complementary to the existing DNA or RNA template. In other words, DNA polymerases are the group of enzymes that are required for synthesis of DNA during replication. They move in a three end. 3 prime end to 3 5 prime end direction that is they add a deoxyribonucleotide at the 3 prime OH group of the growing DNA and as a result the elongation of the newly formed strand is in a 5 to 3 prime end direction as you can see here in this diagram of replication the DNA polymerase and OH group at the 3 end of the DNA strain which is growing as a result the new DNA template is formed from a 5N to 3N direction and this is why the activity of DNA polymerases is also known as 5N to 3N primase activity. In gene manipulation there are different type of DNA polymerases that are being used and some of them are discussed here. First of all, DNA polymerase 1. It is the first polymerase in E. coli which was purified and characterized. It is also known as Kornberg enzyme because it was discovered by Arthur Kornberg. It is a DNA dependent DNA polymerase because it uses DNA as its template. It has a 5' prime to 3' prime polymerase activity as well as 3' prime to 5' prime and 5' prime to 3' prime exonuclease activity. As to what these exonuclease activities are will be discussed in the upcoming video. These the three somatic activities are encapsulated into three distinct domains as you can see here in this picture dna polymerase one have three distinct domains and three distinct domains have their own distinct function so first of all is the polymerase domain which shows five to three prime polymerase activity and is required for the replication and to add nucleotides at the 3 prime OH group and the second one is 3 to 5 prime exonuclease domain and it is required for proofreading and it removes any incorrectly added nucleotides while replication and the third domain is 5 prime to 3 prime exonuclease domain which is responsible for removing RNA primers and repair and proteolysis that is the breakdown of protein into smaller peptide can be used to generate fragments that lack one or more of the activities one such fragment is known as clino fragment which possesses only polymerase and 3 to 5 prime and exonuclease activity and it is the white we use recombinant DNA fragment. The second enzyme DNA polymerases which will be discussed here is reverse transcriptase. It is a RNA dependent DNA polymerase that is it uses RNA as its template to synthesize complementary DNA. It was discovered independently by Howard Taman and David Baltimore and they shared 1995 Nobel Prize in Physiology for their discovery. And the last but not the least, tag DNA polymerases. It is a DNA polymerase which is derived from thermostable bacteria, Thermus aquaticus. 
It is a most commonly used enzyme in PCR that is polymerase chain reaction because it operates at 72 degrees Celsius and is also stable above 90 degrees Celsius. Though it has both the 5 prime end polymerase activity as well as 3 prime end nuclease activity, but it lacks 3 prime to 5 prime exonuclease activity. Therefore, it is unable to correct any mismatched nucleotides. This is all for today's video. In the next video, we'll be discussing more about enzymes for DNA manipulation and specifically nucleases. And if you like our content, please like, share and subscribe. Do follow us on Instagram. And if you have any queries or suggestions, please write to us on the email address or in the comment section below. Thank you.